Ron, thanks very much. Yes, we like to think we're on the cutting edge on this program, but never more so than tonight as we welcome the hottest line in the NHL, replete with the game's leading scorer. That would be Henrik Sedin, flanked by his brother Daniel, and the third Sedin twin, Alexander Burroughs, who uh, Scott Morrison just pointed out failed to score your third consecutive hat trick tonight. How are you handling the slump? Huh. <laughs> uh, obviously, um, coming into this game, uh, we wanted to get the two points, and that was the really the big reason why what we wanted to do and uh, obviously we <laughs> fell off short but uh, we'll try to get the next one and uh, score next You next give game. me a serious answer and I fully understand <laughs> it given that uh, this was such an extraordinarily tough and intense game and it did not end to your satisfaction so uh, let's turn it over to Kevin to save it with a, an intelligent question. No I'm going to piggyback <laughs> off that about the game actually. Uh, guys this game to us looked like it was a playoff type game. Did it have that feeling for you guys on the ice and on the bench? Yeah, I think it's it's always uh, these kind of games against Calgary. Uh, if we're at home or on the road, it doesn't matter. It's uh, fiscal. They got big D's back there, so got to be ready for that. And uh, tonight, uh, we're disappointed we didn't get the two points. Uh, didn't play good enough. Uh, Henrik, somebody wrote a while back, just as uh, you guys were starting to heat up and you were challenging for the uh, lead in the NHL scoring race, that uh, he better be careful or pretty soon the rest of the league will know about him. And uh, they do now because you woke up yesterday morning with a three-point lead atop the scoring race. You were still leading it. But a lot of people expected this of you and perhaps even Daniel when he came into the league or when you first came into the league. So I guess the question is, just describe for me the sense of satisfaction now that you are where you are atop the scoring race. Well, there's satisfaction because we worked extremely hard to, to get where we are. I mean, we we know our first couple of years that we uh, we weren't as, as strong as we wanted to be as, and, and we needed to be. And, and it, that's not going to change over one summer or two summer. It's going to take uh, a long time. And, and uh, we're happy that uh, the Canucks and the organizations uh, mm. st uh, stick with us. And, and uh, uh, so it's, uh, it's taken a lot of work. On that point, Daniel, I think both of you have said in the past that it almost felt like a burden coming to the rink your first few years in the league. Why? Well, I think when you're struggling, it's uh, it's tough. We wanted to stay the, the way we were, just come to the rink and work hard, but it's uh, you want to have fun and you want to succeed at what you do. And we, we didn't feel like we had had the success we wanted to in, in the start, and it, it was really tough. But I think, uh, like Henrik said, we, we worked hard and we told ourselves that we, we were going to get better every year and uh, I think we've done a decent job of that. Kevin, we were talking earlier about that exchange between Dion Phaneuf and Henrik, so I'll let yes. you follow up on that. Yes. Uh, we'll this was not from tonight, by the way. Uh, yes, this is not from tonight, guys. We're going to take a look at this one here. And you see, this is Phaneuf, uh, Dion, and I th think that's against you, Henrik. And he looks like he's going at you, he's talking to you. And you'll see here, it looks like you get the last laugh after scoring the goal and you actually go up and talk a little bit of garbage to him which I like to see. What were you saying there in that situation? You seem a lot more comfortable doing that now. No, nothing really. I was speaking Swedish, I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, he's a, he's a great defenseman. It, yeah. it's, uh, it seems like he's always up against, uh, against our line, and it's a lot of tough battles, and uh, that's the way it should be. And uh, I was lucky at that moment that I scored the goal, but he's, uh, he's a great defenseman. And by the way, Alexander Burroughs is still here with us. Uh, I want to get your reaction on what a lot of people think was the turning point uh, for this line, and that was when Daniel was out for 18 games with a broken foot, and Henrik continued to score at a point-a-game pace. What did he prove to you during that time? Well, obviously, uh, everybody knows in this locker room that Anki is a great player, and he, even without Danny, he was going to be able to succeed. I think uh, he, he just uh, kept going, uh, shot the puck a little bit more maybe, and uh, went to the tough area, scored big goals for us. And uh, now that Danny's back, uh, the Magic is back on, and uh, they're doing a great job for us. Uh, you have figured out better than anyone else uh, in the time that the, uh, the boys have been in the NHL how to play with the Sedins, and your hat tricks in consecutive games certainly prove that. Now, a lot of people would say that to play with the Sedins, all you have to do is stay out of the way and get to the front of the net. I know it's more complicated than that, but is that at the crux of it? Well, that's part of it, I think. Uh, obviously, I try to get them to puck them as most as I can, I think. Try to get on the forecheck. They're such uh, smart players. They're going to make plays offensively. And uh, every time I'm able to get them to puck uh, and try to get open, I know they're going to be able to find me or otherwise they're going to be able to uh, beat the guy in the corner on a 2-1-1 -on or 2-1-2. -on they're as good as anyone in the league, and um, they're doing a great job. But Daniel and Henrik, what makes Alexander Burroughs the perfect line mate? No, oh, he's, he's so smart. I mean, he's... Uh, He's got all the skills in the world. He's got a great shot. Uh, <laughs> <they're welcome. laughs> uh, no, but he's, he's extremely smart. I mean, he, he makes good plays. Uh, he, he knows uh, where we're going to be, and we always know where he's going to be. So uh, we really enjoy playing with him. Daniel? 
Yeah, like Henrik said, I think uh, that's his biggest asset. He's he's smart. He's uh, he he makes uh, simple plays and <laughs> <laughs> and uh, no, he's he's easy to read off. He's great on the forecheck too, so he's uh, we really enjoy playing him. Here's a question from Nick in Squamish, BC, and it's a good one. Rumor has it, Daniel, that you and your brother can run up uh, the grouse grind as quick as anyone. Any idea what your best time is and who's faster? Well, I'm the fastest. I mean, uh, <laughs> that's one thing I beat Tank, Hank him. I mean, he's, he's better in golf, he's better in tennis, he's better than pretty much everything, but girls try it, I'll beat him. Just before we go to break, I want to get this in. Um, when we had you on this program a year ago, Mark Crawford was with me. You did a killer impression of Mark. <laughs> it, it brought the house down. It remains a classic, and we seize every opportunity we can to play it. Uh, yeah. I think we got it here. I want you guys to watch this, Daniel and Henry. Tell me what you think. Here it is. What do you <laughs> Daniel and Henrik, you guys were watching in the room as he did that. Uh, was it accurate? What did you think? Yeah, it was a lot better the second time, though. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, it's uh, cool like to get at guys. I mean, it was, uh, if you could handle it, it was, it was good. I mean, he got, got people going, so uh, he's, uh, he's all right. Uh, quickly, Mark is fond of telling the story how he got mad at you, I think, Henrik, uh, one night, and, uh, and he had a severe case of mistaken identity. What happened, Daniel? Well, I think I made the mistake on the ice, and he got really mad at uh, at. Was well, the other way around? Yeah, other way around. <laughs> I can't remember, but they happen a lot. He thinks it it happened only only once, but it happened a lot of times. <laughs> okay, all right. Daniel and Henrik Sedin, Alexander Burroughs are our guests on After Hours. More with the hottest line in the NHL when we come back live to GM Place in Vancouver.